Quantitative Parameters of Some Novellas by Roman Ivanichuk Prepared by Ihor Kulchitsky, the Polytechnic National University At the current stage of the development of linguistics, the use of the electronic corpus of texts has become an integral part for many research devoted to the individual style of author. The focus of this research is on the individual style of writing of Roman Ivanichuk, researched by the means of statistics in order to find some distinctive features of the Ivanichuk's writing, as it is believed that he possessed an indeed a special manner of the writing, and he has a passion to use extremely long sentences comparing to the other Ukrainian authors. The result of the research will be useful for text attribution, language learning and historical research of the Ukrainian language. The material for the research is the following novellas of Roman Ivanichuk. And Earth and Green and Song. Further in the text, this novella will be referred to as R.I. 1. For a story, R.I. 2. No Atonement, R.I. 3. Thut Solo, R.I. 4. First of all, the texts of the given novellas were converted in electronic form with the help of the Abifine Reader software and saved in docx format. The next step was the normalization of the texts in the Microsoft Word Editor. The normalization meant breeding the text in full compliance with the original, arranging the spelling and punctuation of the text in accordance with the spelling standards, marking all foreign words with the relevant languages, etc. The received normalized texts were formalized with the help of R2U software access granted by Vasily Sterko. The results of the automatic lemmatization have been converted to the required format using native Python applications and have been validated and corrected with Microsoft Access. The received text in the result of the lemmatization were subjected to statistical analysis. Statistics are calculated using standard methods and from formulas adopted for mathematical statistics, beginning statistics. The necessary software for analysis is written by Python language. For the general statistical research of the above-mentioned novellas, the following coefficients were calculated. Vocabulary of richness, average word repetition in texts, vocabulary concentration coefficient, automatic readability index, ARI, coefficient of lexical density, adjectives to nouns ratio, adverb to verb ratio, nouns to verbs ratio, verbs to total number of words ratio, coefficient of logical, coefficient of speech embolism. The general statistical indicators of the researched novellas. The researched novellas have the following general statistical indicators. Table 1. The parts of speech distribution of the given novellas is presented on the slide. The results of the carried out research have shown that the novella and earth and green and song contain the following parts of speech. Words, noun, 974, 37.26%. Verb, 759, 29.04%. Adjective, 458, 17.52%. Adverb 173, 6.62%. Pronoun 70, 2.68%. Gerund 50, 1.91%. Proposition 45, 1.72%. Conjunction 39, 1.49%. Particle 29.5%. 
26 0.99% numeral 14 0.54% exclamation 5 0.19% present participle 1 0.04% words usage noun 2697 30.74% Verb 1478 16.84% Adjective 833 9.49% Adverb 362 4.13% Pronoun 976 11.12% Gerund 56 0.64% Preposition 956 10.89% Conjunction 937 10.68% Particle 435 4.96% Numeral 30 0.34% exclamation 14 0.16% present participle 1 0.01% novella for story words noun 747 30.56% verb 696 28.48% Adjective 462 18.90% Adverb 240 9.82% Gerund 109 4.46% Pronoun 79 3.23% Proposition 42 1.72% Conjunction 34, 1.39%. Particle 30, 1.23%. Numeral 4, 0.16%. Present participle 1, 0.04%. Words usage. Noun 2173, 28.88%. Verb 1199 15.94% Adjective 855 11.37% Adverb 464 6.17% Gerund 126 1.67% Pronoun 804 10.69% Preposition 852 11.33% Conjunction 751 9.98% Particle 281 3.74% Numeral 17 0.23% Present participle 1 0.01% No atonement novella Words Noun 620 33.97% Verb 531 29.10% Adjective 299 16.38% Adverb 107.56% Pronoun 74 4.05% Gerund 58 3.18% Preposition 37 2.03% Conjunction 31 1.70% Particle 31, 1.17%. Numeral 4, 
0.22% exclamation to 0.11% words usage noun 1329 26.07% verb 852 16.71% adjective 456 8 0.94 percent adverb 226 4.43 percent pronoun 763 14.97 percent gerund 64 1.26 percent preposition 637 12.50 percent conjunction 538 10.55 percent Particle 217, 4.26%. Numeral 14, 0.27%. Exclamation 2, 0.04%. Flute solo novella. Words. Noun 620, 37.62%. Verb 407, 24.70%. Adjective 289, 17.54%. Adverb 134, 8.13%. Pronoun 68, 4.13%. Proposition 38, 2.31%. Conjunction 31, 1.88%. Present participle 30, percent uh, 82% Particle 23 1.40% Numeral 7 0.42% Exclamation 1 0.06% Words usage Noun 1188 27.15% Verb 695 15.88% Adjective 432 9.87% Adverb 217 4.96% Pronoun 665 15.20% Preposition 515 3.72% Numeral 16, 0.37%. Exclamation 1, 0.02%. The meanings of the statistical coefficients that characterize the research novellas presented in the table 1 below. The meanings of the statistical coefficients that characterize the research novellas presented on the slide. General text coefficients are presented in the slide. It is important to mention that the percentage of parts of speech in different words usages and words slightly differs. The results are represented on the picture on the slide. It should be noted that taking into account the fact that modern grammatical theorists consider gerund and present participle as verbs clauses, these two parts of speech were merged as verbs. It is can be seen for parts of the speech such as verb, noun, adjective and adverb. The percentage words decreased on average verb in 0.6, noun in 0.8, adjective in 0.6, adverb in 0.6 but it increased significantly for pronouns 3.7 prepositions 6.0 conjunctions 6.5 particles 3.3 the percentage number of the numerals did not change at all 1.0 while the percentage of pronouns decreased 0.4 
The results were compared to the quantitative parts of speech distribution of the Dictionary of the Ukrainian Language consisting of 11 volumes and presented on the slide. The parts of speech distribution was done for words and words usage and the results are presented on the slide. The distribution of rank frequencies is shown on the slide. It mainly focuses on word forms, although it is important to mention that the distribution of rank frequencies for words is identical as for word forms. The words with frequency equal to 1 have been found in 65-68% to 68 of the whole text figure 6. Regarding the word forms words with frequency equal to 1 are a bit higher in terms of quantity and are equal to 73 to 76 percent and 95 to 96 percent. Ranks Frequencies of words A and word forms B for each novella can be shown on the slide. They show the Ukrainian writer Roman Ivanichuk possessed an incredibly rich vocabulary that was indeed reflected in his manner of writing. At the same time, the received results allowed to come up with the following statistical coefficients uh, presented on the slide 15 and 16. The calculation shows that the analyzed texts by Roman Ivanichuk contain the equal number of nouns and verbs as the nouns to verbs ratio is big enough to conclude that all his novellas have a specific ideal style that is characterized by robust, accurate and informative account of Ivanichuk's thoughts on the paper. In terms of linguistics, the noun phrases and substantive groups significantly prevail in his writing. This proves that his writing has nominative style which also includes a wide and frequent usage of adjectives that specify and describe everything called by nouns. The adjectives to nouns ratio, the number of adjectives per one noun, in the text of the nominal ideostyle also characterizes the highly fiction level of the writing as adjectives in general are main mean of metaphoric expressions of tropes, namely epithets and comparisons. The coefficient of the adjective to nouns ratio of the researched texts is pretty high, 0.31 to 0.39 which means that Roman Ivanichuk used a lot of epithets in his writing. The nominative style of his writing also supports the fact that there is a pretty low verbs to total number of words ratio, aggressiveness. It indicates that the writing style focuses more on how to describe things rather than reflect some actions. It also shows that the writing is emotionally neutral, the presence of high coefficient of logical connectivity within one, harmonic connection between auxiliary parts of speech and syntactic uh, constructions demonstrate that the sentences produced by the author tend to be complex and compound that is also a distinctive feature of the nominative ideo style in general. The analysis of the given indicators shows that according to the mean length of words, the novellas of Roman Ivanichuk are close to the texts of Yuri Ivanovsky and Petro Panch. Is pretty close to other Ukrainian genres. The carried out research allows to conclude that the Ukrainian author Roman Ivanichuk possessed a special, perhaps unique and definitely interesting and eye-catching manner of writing. Not, not only his texts and plots are gripping, but the form 
itself is also very outstanding and out of ordinary for that period of time. First of all, his manner of writing has a nominative style that is definitely a distinctive feature for his style, where nouns and adjectives significantly prevail over the other parts of speech. This proves that his intention of writing was to describe things to reflect on the paper how he saw the world around. At the same time, his writing was emotionally reserved. Moreover, Roman Ivanichuk tended to use large sentences to describe his ideas and thoughts. The length of sentences in his writings is probably the larger one, or among the largest ones in the Ukrainian prose. Additionally, it has to be mentioned that the level of statistical research of the Ukrainian fiction in general is still evolving. The methods of research used this far are obsolete and need to be updated. The size of the selections for research are generally small and need to be enlarged, which will provide wider and more accurate results. Nowadays, it is common to use symbols to measure the length of words and words to measure the length of sentences. However, it is also possible to measure the length of sentences, passages and even whole texts in symbols and words can be widely used for measuring the length of passages, chapters, etc. In my research, I decided to use the above described approach, although did not include all of the results in the paper as without presentation in comparison with other Ukrainian writers. These results are rare and does not provide much value this far. So this is the intention to continue the research in this direction, research other writers.